Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me on another episode of The Insider. Today we have Miss Asha and Tim. She is the founder of the Chrysalis Program and a self-published author of the Dark Brown Girls Collection, seen right here. Well, thank you so much, Asha, for joining me today. Absolutely. <laughs> Glad to have you on the show. So let's get started. How did the Chrysalis Program get started and what motivated you to start this program? The Chrysalis program actually started as a book series called The Dark Brown Girl. And in that book series were books for African American girls to teach them self love. And I wrote those books because when I was looking for books for my daughter, I have a four year old and a two year old, I did not see them represented in the books that I was buying. Wow. And I wanted them to be able to see themselves because representation does matter. So Absolutely. I wrote books for them so that they could see some African American faces in the books that they were reading. Um, and then once I put the books kind of on the market, I got a lot of feedback from parents saying, this is exactly what we need. My daughter doesn't love herself. She's self-conscious about her hair and her skin complexion. And at that point I realized that it was just bigger than selling some books. So um, that's when we started. Well, at first was called the Dark Brown Girl Program. Oh, wow. And then we didn't want to exclude other shades of right. African Americans, even though dark was an acronym in the first place. But um, we changed it to the Chrysalis Program because it's more inclusive and it means uh, like a place of transformation. A chrysalis is a cocoon, it's similar to a cocoon. Oh, wow. And it's a place where an insect goes and it's a protected place where they grow and transform into a creature with wings that can fly. So wow. that is the idea behind the chrysalis program. We want to invest um, in them the idea that they need to love themselves, here are these practical life skills that you will need as you get older and you'll have them because you are in this program. So that's the reason why we created it. Great. Can you tell us a little bit about like the first event that you had or session that you had for the um, Christmas program yes. and how did that go? Yeah, we started the program August 2016 was the launch of it. And we just have invited the whole community out to kind of like get an idea of what we were trying to do. And we had a great turnout for that. And then we started in October where actual students came. We were at first really um, concerned about like how we're gonna recruit girls. Like we have all these ideas, but we don't have students. Right. So like that was not a problem. <laughs> like one month in we had 53 registered mentees. And they were like, oh no, we need more volunteers. So. Oh wow. Yeah. So how did you, what were some of the ways that you got the word out about the program? It was mostly social media, just Facebook. Um, yes, just word of mouth, telling one person who told five people who told five people, and next thing you know, we have a program. Oh, wow, so, that's good. Word of mouth is definitely important, and it will get you far. Yes. <laughs> I can attest to that. So you were saying about your book, um, the DART is an acronym. acronym. Yes. What is the acronym? It is Daring, Artistic, Radical, and Kinetic. Oh, nice. How'd you come up with that? Because I wanted to, I was thinking about what is it about us that makes mm -hmm. us different right. and who am I writing this for? The girls that are not ashamed of who they are, who they're like proud to be themselves. So that's the daring. Uh, the artistic is the creative part of us. Uh, radical is the, uh, not afraid to go against the grain. Right. Yes. <laughs> and then the kinetic, uh, just the energy and the movement of us as um, African Americans. Yeah. Absolutely. And I thank you for writing this book because I have a four year old daughter too. And it is hard to find books that represent us. So, and I did actually purchase a book at one of the men and I read it to my daughter and she just loved it. So, I just want to thank you for actually writing and getting our book about us out there. And so, um, just thank you. You're welcome. And thank you for the support. No problem. <laughs> so, why do you think? these type of programs for girls and own girls are essential for right now? I think they're essential because as a, as a girl, I was very self-conscious and I feel like if I had um, training, I would have been more confident. 
and I'm not sure what it's like to be a boy, <laughs> but right. um, as a girl, I, I modeled this entire program around what did I need? What, what didn't I know? What would have helped me had I known it? And what affected my self-esteem? So um, those things were uh, my hair was an issue, skin complexion, so we had a, um, I love my hair day last okay. session where we made hair cream and we learned to take care of our natural hair. Um, so basically everything that we offer is something that affects your self-esteem. So the per practical life skills, if you know etiquette and you know how to carry yourself, you, you don't have to feel as self-conscious because you know what you're doing. You're coming in with that knowledge. So um, that was kind of the point of the curriculum that we choose for our program is what is missing? What did I need? <laughs> and what do girls today need uh, as, as they grow older? What what skills do they need? Uh, what will help them? Great, great. So I was talking to you earlier off camera about like I love how like your mother, the other mentors talk to the kids and how it's so um, you know, not sugar coated, they talk to them like, you know, straightforward. So, yeah. um, how do you think the girls in general just receive this whole program in general? I had a, a child today say that they love this program and they'll never leave <laughs> because um, we do listen to them and we talk to them like people. And I think that sometimes adults look at children and say oh you don't know you're just a child whatever you're saying doesn't matter but it matters and they need to know that it matters and they need to be heard and listened to um, even as parents because we're so familiar with our children we might forget they're people and their opinions matter and so that's what we want to give them and um, the third thing would just be love like I want them to feel loved while they're here if they don't feel it anywhere else, they know that they can get love at Christmas. Have you seen a change in some of your students? Yes. <laughs> Great. I saw a change in a student today who did not want to hear about etiquette at all. She was like, I don't do etiquette and I don't eat at the table. And, okay. she was, and after the session, she said, can I help you with something? I'll set the table. I want to show what I learned. So just in the matter of a two hour period, how, how a change can so drastically happen just by spending time and, right. and listening and then giving them the information and the tools that they need. So how amazing is it to see your students, you know, pick up on the skills that you teach and then, you know, put into their, you know, life now? How does it feel to see that? Like in a matter of seconds, right after you teach something, they, like, it, like you just said, like corrected you or like, you know, <laughs> Just how do you do that? It feels amazing. And if it helps me to remember that we're brilliant and we, they can learn anything yes. we put in front of them. Um, so I, we shouldn't limit them exactly. and think that, okay, they can't, they're, they're not capable because they're from the south side of Chicago mm -hmm. to learn this. Mm -hmm. They can learn it. They have learned it. Now it's past this. They've learned it. <laughs> right. done. So I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of that. I'm, I'm, they learned it better than I learned it, so <laughs> I'm extremely proud. Awesome. So how has this changed your life, and what ways has this changed your life since starting <sighs> the Priscilla's program? Um, it gave my life more meaning. meaning. Um, I was a recent graduate of Keller Graduate School of Management, and my master's in project management, but I was a housewife and a mom, stay-at-home yeah. mom, so that's small kids. And I was just feeling like I wasn't using my creativity and I wasn't using my degree and I felt like I was just kind of idle. Mm. Like all I do is change diapers and sweep floors and wash dishes and this is giving my life so much meaning and just it feels right. Yes. Like when I'm here it feels like this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you can tell once you walk in the room like how the kids like gravitate to you and the program and how they just soak up everything and pay attention. So you can tell like, yes, it's, it's definitely your purpose, definitely. <laughs> um, going forward, what do you want your program to, I guess, evolve into? What do you do, have things that you want to add to it? Or where do you want to see the Chrysalis program go in the oh, future? There's so many answers <laughs> to that question. I'll spare you most of them. <laughs> no, I'll just say that. 
I want us to continue to grow. I want us to spread. Um, I want to have chapters in every city in America yes. <laughs> and abroad. So the third part that we haven't done is the travel. So for me, traveling to West Africa changed my perspective of everything. Mm -hmm. um, just standards of beauty mm -hmm. and just to be somewhere where you're not a minority. I want all of my students and my children to experience that. Yes. So I'm trying to find a way to fund each one of them to receive their passport and a round trip ticket to a country where the natives are of African descent. So at least in the next 12 months, I want to at least get that rolling. So that's the, the long-term plan. Awesome, and you will definitely get yes. there. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> I know your kids are in a program as well. You said you had two daughters. Yes. <laughs> how, what, what age is what they is? Four and two. Four and two. Mm -hmm. So how do they receive the program? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they grasp what they can. Mm -hmm. uh, they receive the books better than the program. Oh, I like mm -hmm. it. Both of them know the book by, the book of affirmations by heart. Right. They <laughs> they every day. <laughs> they like, oh, so they, they that's really uh, the the beginning of that self confidence coming. And then like for the, with the program, it's mostly just the companionship and being with other children um, and outside of a school setting where they right. have to be quiet and sit still, with somebody to play with and yeah. spend time. And then I feel like they're receiving the information. They just don't right. act it out just yet. <laughs> just yet. <laughs> they don't get there. Yeah, little by little. Four and two. So. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. So they got a long way to go. But, you know, they don't get there. Yeah, it's fun. But I'm sure it's like fun to see them. Yeah, just interact. Yeah. <laughs> They yeah. try to. They try. <laughs> yeah, they get there. But um, do you have any other advice you can give parents? Sure. Um, for parents and people who are around kids, um, just to remember that children are people mm -hmm. and they deserve respect and they should be listened to, they should be heard, and they should be affirmed. And, and the discipline is necessary, but there needs to be the balance. I think that balance is what creates a more well-rounded person. Awesome. So how can people reach out to you um, if they want to help out mentor and volunteer? How do you Everything is on our <laughs> website. <laughs> <laughs> that website is www.thedarkbrowngirl.com. Awesome. Yes. And or you can email us. Email us. Um, at thechrysalisprogram at gmail.com. Awesome. And is there any one you're looking for in particular? Uh, we need all sorts of help. Yeah. So whatever you have, whatever your gift is, we do need you. Great. So yes, you can awesome. register on the website. Mm -hmm. Great. So you hear that people register, volunteer. This is a great program. And also support. This book is amazing. The Dark Brown Girls Collection. Um, it's an amazing book if you have a daughter. And um, I love it. My daughter loves it. So yes. Well, Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Asha, for joining me today. You're a pleasure. <laughs> and I wish you all the best with your program. I love what you're doing. Those kids are awesome. Um, I hope you get all the help you need. I hope it grows into something that's unimaginable. Oh. That you fresh in your imagination. <laughs> thank you so much. You're Maria. welcome. Thank you so much. Okay.